Start recording. Speech off. All right. You remember about over a year ago or something that I've done a video on what's called the Braille and Speak? Well, that was a live stream. And this time I'm going to do it on a video. I don't have the unit, like I said last time. I don't have the unit, but I know what it looks like. Take the Perkins style keyboard and take the backspace and enter keys from it. Then, if you have a Braille note or a Braille display, take the display off of it and all the other keys, like if you had a Braille note, take all that off. And just leave the, the space behind the six keys and the speaker and a few ports and a power switch. I mean, a power switch. And that's what you get. Now, <clears throat> Uh, RML695 has a video about it. <clears throat> if you want to know, I could try and demonstrate what the voice would sound like, but I don't want to do that. The voice is more of a monotone speech. Like, you know, one pitch only. One pitch only. One pitch only. You know, you have this one pitch only. Just that. Well, you know, you know what I mean. The size of it, uh, I'm not that sure. Probably about the size of a video cassette, mm, maybe. Probably about th uh, three and a half, four inches long. Probably about two and a half, three inches wide, or maybe two point two five to two point five inches wide. About. It's small, okay? It's like, I can imagine the size of an iPhone 6 or smaller, maybe the size of an iPhone 5, maybe. Uh, it's about that size. Either that or smaller. It's a video cassette sized device. All right, so imagine that. Imagine sticks. Imagine. Just on the surface, dots 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and below that, the space bar adds your keys. That's basically what it is. There are options, <clears throat> like on a Braille note. All the Braille notes from the Braille note Classic to the Braille note Touch, uh, from what I've heard about the Braille note Touch, which, I don't know. From what I heard about the Braille and Speak, it's very hard to use. Well. This thing just not even, I mean, the thing, this thing that I'm talking about, I don't have it in front of me, but if I did, I would say, this thing does not have a right, well, I think you can connect it to a broad display, but this thing doesn't have a spell check. The original one didn't. The original was made way back way, uh, way back in 1987, I believe. Jeez, that's about um, 30 years ago. 30 to 31 years. So, so yeah, old note takers like the Packmate Braille I 40, the Braille and Speak. The Braille and Speak with Double Talk. The Braille I-40 was probably made around 2002, 2003. Around that time. There are other note takers that are similar to the Braille Note Touch, like 
Um, if I can remember, there's one. Oh, okay. Uh, what I'm picking up is a box that belongs to a Ninja Turtles thing, but yeah, whatever. Um, so basically, I don't have a Braille and Speak. But I can turn down my uh, device here, and I can go look for one on eBay. And I can see it through some online you know, uh, that uh, so that so that if you really want to bro and speak, you can check it out. Um, can search for anything. All right, Braille and speak. All right, so I'm gonna look online for a Braille and speak, as you can look for. All right, it says, <coughs> <coughs> okay, none results. Okay. Alright, a blazy Braille and Speak is used and untested. Alright, so you don't want to test these that are untested. And it's pre owned and it's uh, $40. So here's a tip for you guys if you want to look for a Braille and Speak, try looking for one that says pre owned and tested and works for a good price. Don't look for one. I'm not buying one here. I'm just saying. I'm just looking for ones that you can guys look for this. Braille and speak. Okay, this is just parts for $9. Alright. All right. Lazy Braille and speak. Fresh. High cap battery pack. Now, now this would be around a hundred and something dollars. Back then, what I've heard, the Braille note, I mean, the Braille note, the note takers for the blind were two thousand dollars. I'm not joking. They were. Um, I, well, I don't know why I keep saying, um, but whatever. So let's keep going. Blazy Bro and Speak. Oh, I've seen a Blazy Bro and Speak. Um, real early. Zero, zero, three with fresh upgraded. See, this is like an upgraded battery pack for $399.27. <laughs> Alright, so. You might want to get something at a good price. I'd say something around the $100 mark is a good price because, number one, you never know. These are all. No. It's a scholar version, so. Pre owned. $142. Uh, they're over $100. The good ones, I think. These are like, I guess, the good ones. I'm just going through different options just to show you what you can get if you want one of these things for yourself. I'm not... Braille and Speak. Nope. Taking device. Power supply and more. Well, so this comes with power supply and more. So it's $329. Uh, uh, around the $330 mark. Typically $330. So. Now. You would not want to get. A lot of three of them. Because this is how much it will cost. Well. Okay. Maybe. If you want to get $3,485. Or around $180. Around that mark. Then that would be fine. You get.
This is just an AC adapter for a device. That's brand new for $13. Used untested. A seventy dollar. Okay, I think it's talking about Pro Blazer. If they're talking about an embosser, then. Ah, oh, pack me. What I was just talking about. For blind with 40 cell braille display, pack me. This is for, you know, pack me. And it says pre owned, and it says for over. You ready for this? For over $600. Way over that. So that is a pretty cool price, but then you're looking at. If it works or not, or, I mean, seriously. Speak and spell toy. Okay, speak and spell. This is like a, a toy. So, $45 for a toy like that. Yeah, I wouldn't want that. Mm. Wow. All right. A BrillSense Plus. It's a QWERTY internet laptop portable PC for blind user. Mm. $849. Wow. For that, this is kind of cool. Like, you know, uh, usually uh, note takers nowadays or are like... Um, or five thousand dollars, but if you look at <clears throat> Brillsense, they're probably around the four or five thousand dollar mark as well. Ah, pocket watch. Hmm. Wow. Okay, fifty dollars, not bad for a watch like that. I have a cool watch. Seven hundred and ninety nine dollars, around eight hundred dollars. Wow. Heck, mate. Well, this is a cheaper price, four hundred forty-nine dollars. Okay. This is like from 1960-something. This is like $6.80. For dollars Okay. Let's go back. And let's go searching. For...
Now, if we go into the Bruno realm, let's go looking in that. I'm actually going to stop this video. Speed, stop recording. Camera chooser, front facing. Camera chooser, stop recording.